Alléluia, Alléluia, Shalom, Shalom, people of God. You welcome back on this program of teaching based on the sound doctrine of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Samuel of the group Jésus Revient. What about the confession and forgiveness of sins? This element of sound doctrine is very essential in the life of a believer. Sin is a danger that separates man from God. In the book of Romans 3, 23, it's written, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. To be free from sin, the believer must acknowledge and confess his sin to the Lord. The confession of sin is a deep spiritual act by which the sinner become believer. In this way, the unburden his worries and his problem before the throne of grace in order to be rescued, as Hebrew 4, 16 says. Let us therefore confidentially approach the throne of grace in order to obtain grace, to be helped in our need. These sins are like heavy burdens weighing on every sinner. Then, the intervention of the Lord Jesus Christ is therefore essential for the relief of the one revealing his sins. In the book of Matthew 11, 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah! After regret and the declaration of transgression, the Lord Jesus Christ intervenes as a mediator for the remission of the sinner's sin. By this act of confession, the Lord grants forgiveness by blotting out sins with his blood. Hallelujah. In the book of 1 John 2, 1, my little children, I write this thing to you so that you do not sin. And if anyone has sinned, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Hallelujah. According to the sound doctrine, forgiveness can never be granted without confessions of sin. In the book of Proverbs 28, 13, he who hides his transgression does not prosper, but he who confess them and forsake them obtain mercy. It's necessary to confess one's sins committed in the past, being at that time in ignorance. This sin must not be hidden, but declare and confess openly to obtain the forgiveness of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Proverbs 28, 13, he who hides his transgression does not prosper, do not forget it. But he who confess and confess and forsake them, obtain mercy. Let me say, any religious movement that fights the confession of sin in the dispensation of grace is a pernicious sect. Remember this, it's a pernicious sect. As 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us them and to cleanse up from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you abundantly. You can stay turned for the coming teaching. Be blessed. Amen.